Watch this! Like my new way of saying oh. hi, Talia? I call it the Giganto Greeting! Did you forget how we say hi in the Giganto Club? Oh, the secret handshake! Ah. Giganto! <laughs> hey, I just thought of something! Now that we have the Giganto Club up and running, shouldn't we celebrate? That's my little sister! <laughs> Any excuse to throw a party! But it's a good idea, right, Roxy? It is! You want to be in charge of party planning? I was born for that job! Talia, can you make the decorations? I was born for that job just a much longer time ago than you. This all sounds great! I'll go find Lito and tell him! to make an entrance. <laughs> Lito! Are you okay? Please tell me it's not broken. Tell me it's not broken. What? Your leg? No, the projector. Oh, uh, nope. It's just uh, like you. Unbreakable. <sighs> uh, Good. Can I interest you in some dino facts then? You know you can. Yes! Come on! <laughs> Let's see which dinosaur Lito's picked out for us today! I'd recognize that dino anywhere! Triceratops! <laughs> That's right! Now, here are some facts on this legendary dino! First up, its size! Get this, Triceratops could grow up to 10 meters long! I wouldn't mind riding a Triceratops to school! You know what else is cool about the Triceratops? Its horns! Not just one. Or two. But three horns on its head. They use these horns for protection. Protection? Against who? Their rival, Tyrannosaurus Rex. To defend themselves against the T-Rex, all the Triceratops would form a big circle, with the youngest in the middle and the biggest on the outside with their horns sticking out. <laughs> I'd feel safe in the middle of that. Their heads have horns, one, two, and three. Big as a bus, they protect the family. They've got a name that's kind of long to help remember just sing this song. Triceratops. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And here's a question for you. In our favorite show, Gigantosaurus, who is the Triceratops? And her big brother, Trey! <laughs> Good job! Tell me, Lito, you think Trey would give me a ride to school someday? <laughs> you looking for something? Maybe a Triceratops? <laughs> oh no, I've lost my scissors! Oh, no. You mean your favorite little gold ones? Yes! The ones with the rounded ends? Exactly! Uh, and the little purple ribbon tied to them? Yes! Yes, uh, yes! Which is hanging from your tail? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness! I need them to make more dino chain decorations for our party! Dino chains? What's that? Ooh! Ta da! This is a dino Whoa, chain! Oh, that's wonderful! Well, maybe our friends at home would like to make one too! <laughs> You'll need a few things. A long piece of paper, a pair of scissors that are nice and safe, and a pencil. You'll need to hang up your decoration when you're done. And maybe stickers or sparkles to decorate it. Now remember, you can hit pause and I will be waiting right here while you go find everything. Now we'll start by folding our paper back and forth to form an accordion. First, fold a piece of the paper over to the right. Then turn the paper over and fold the next piece to the left. Make sure the pieces are even. Keep on going back and forth, 
with the folds until you folded the whole piece of paper into an even rectangle, like an accordion. Next, take your pencil and draw a dinosaur on the top rectangle. You can also trace the shape of a dinosaur from a puzzle piece or a picture of a dinosaur you might have. Oh, one more thing. Make sure your dino's head and tail touch the edges of your rectangle on the left and right. Ooh, this part is tricky, so take your time. Just hit pause and I'll wait. Oh, and you might want to ask for help from a grown-up or a big brother or sister. Next, cut through the folds of your paper along the shape of your dinosaur. Oh, but don't cut at the edges of the paper. See how we're doing it here? Leave the head and tail connected. Once you're finished cutting, you unfold and ta-da! You have a dino chain! Now you can color or decorate it with stickers or glitter, if you'd like. Then, ask a grown-up for help hanging it up. <gasps> Look at that! You've got some awesome dino decor! Wow! You did an amazing job decorating, Talia! I'll say! All these dinos look like they're dancing! Makes me want to dance with them! <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> All we need is some good music and we've got ourselves a party! <laughs> Ask and you shall receive! I've got just the right song for the occasion! But only because you got here first. See? That doesn't mean you get dibs on it. Dibs on what? This mini Rocky. Wow! Can I have it? Oh, great. Now we all want it. 
You see, I found this little Rocky toy over near the den, and it seems to have caused us a bit of a problem. Who do I give it to? But I really like Rocky. He's brave. And he's funny. And he runs really fast. That's true. Rocky is a fast dino. Oh, I know. Why don't we set up a race in the jungle? Then whoever wins gets the toy. That's a great idea, Talia. I love to run. And no one's faster than me. What do you mean? I'll show you. Time me, Talia. OK. Ready, set, go. <sighs> Pretty fast, huh? Oh, seven oh. seconds. Wow, Rocky would be proud. Who can beat that? <laughs> Do you want to try, Lito? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I need to summon my inner Rocky first. <laughs> Anyone up for some dino facts? I am. <sighs> okay, little dinos. Today I'm going to get all fanboy about one of our favorite heroes on Gigantosaurus. The one and only the incredible Rocky. What kind of dinosaur is Rocky? Anyone know the name? Oh, I know it's something really long and complicated. Yep, it's one of the hardest dino names to say. Rocky is a Parasaurolophus. He, ra, so, ra, lo, fuss. So what's the deal with the crest on Rocky's head? It's so cool. Good question. Was it a way for Parasaurs to recognize each other? Did it help them keep cool? The answer is, no one knows for sure. Rocky seems to use it to communicate with Giganto. And scare the raptors. <laughs> but we do know that a grown-up Parasaurolophus was about 10 meters long and was twice as tall as a human. And Parasaurs could run very fast, probably around 25 miles per hour. Look where you're going, Rocky! the dino facts, Leto. It was fun to learn today about the Barasaurolophus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watching Rocky run has inspired me. I'm definitely gonna run fast and win that tour. Okay, Leto. Just remember, Roxy ran to the den in seven seconds. You have to beat that. Ready? Set. Oh my, six seconds! I win! Fantastic. I win! <laughs> Not so fast there, Leto. Yes, so fast, I get the tool. You forgot that I haven't run yet. Oh, that's right. Everyone has to have a chance. Go ahead, Pom Pom. It's your turn. Say, Talia, do you mind if I warm up a bit first? You know, get the dino juices flowing? I think that's a very good idea. That sounds like Noah. I'd better go see what he wants. Hey, Noah, what's up? Oh, hi, Pom Pom. Giganto! <laughs> You called me? Yeah? Wanna play Dino Says with me? That sounds like fun, but I have to warm up for my race. Oh, well, we could do both together. What do you say? You can? How? Well, just play Dino Says with me and you'll see. Dino Says is like Simon Says, only with dinosaurs. You just follow <laughs> what I do whenever I say Dino Says. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try. Go on. <laughs> just follow what I do every time I say Dino Says. Here we go. Dino says, wag your tail. <laughs> like this? Exactly. Dino says, touch your left foot with your right hand. <laughs> OK. Dino says, hold your arms straight out in front of you. Here. Hi! That's right. <laughs> Dino says, kick your leg up to your hand like this. Noah, that's not easy. Yeah, that's right. 
Come on, you can do it. Now the other hand. <laughs> hey, uh, how come you're not kicking? You didn't say Dino says. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Dino says, kick your <laughs> other leg. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. We're almost done. Dino says, be a dino star. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> oh, and to finish the game, Dino says, roar as loud as Gigantosaurus. <laughs> and now, Pom Pom, you're all warmed up for your race. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> okay, Pom Pom, ready? You bet I am. On your mark. Get set, go! Five seconds! Pom Pom Yay! is the winner! Wow, you were like lightning! Gotta bow down to the champ! Good going, little sis! Noah's warm-up helped me win big time! Great job, Pom Pom! Here is your prize! Yippee! Let's see. What should I do with my mini Rocky? Well, let's see. You could make a nice terrarium for him to play in. A terrarium? What's that? I'll show you. All right. Here are the supplies you'll need. You can ask a grown-up to help you find them. First, you'll need a clean jar or container made of glass or plastic. You must make sure the opening is wide enough to put your hand in without getting it stuck. A fishbowl is perfect. You'll also need a sheet of construction paper, a little bag of potting soil for plants, a small shovel or soup spoon, and a couple of dinosaur toy figures, whatever you have at home. Okay, let's get started. First, put your jar on a table where you can make a little bit of a mess. Then, take your sheet of construction paper and roll it into the shape of a cone. Make sure you leave a hole at the bottom of the cone. Now, put your paper cone into the jar and scoop some soil into the cone with your shovel or spoon. Fill the jar up halfway. Once you've put in the dirt, you can plant your toy dinos. <laughs> Make sure the dino's feet are firmly planted in the dirt so they can stand up nice and straight. Now, add some rocks and you have your very own Cretacean terrarium. Toy! Oh, how gigantic! And I found Tiny! Want to add them to the terrarium so they can all play together? Sure! Sure! Awesome! awesome. <laughs> oh, yes! And speaking of playing together, I am so glad you could join us at Giganto Club today! Yes! Oh, hope to see you soon! Bye! Bye. Bye. See you soon! Knock, knock. Can we come in? Only if you know the secret password. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's right, Pom Pom. Oh, yes. And what about our secret handshake? Jai, Gan, Do. Oh, I can't wait to talk about Gigantosaurus. <laughs> Pom Pom, you look just like Archie trying to fly. Oh. I remember that story. It's one of my favorites. Oh, all right then. Why don't you start us off by telling I'd it? I'd love to, but can I tell it like it's a dino fact? Great idea. 
It all started when Archie asked Mazu to help him fly. So she built him a pair of extra big wings. I remember that. He was so excited. Archie went all the way to the top of Mount Oblivion to test out his new wings. And they worked! Until Archie flew straight into Giganto, that is. But didn't Mazu save Archie? She sure did. Flew Archie right off Giganto like he was a kite. I'm sure that was a relief to Giganto. And Archie. <laughs> but the question is, why couldn't Archie fly? Hmm. Here's the facts. Archie is an Archaeopteryx. An Archaeopteryx? <laughs> Close. R -K -E -O -P -T -E -R -Y -X. They're also called flying dinos because scientists know they definitely had feathers. So does that mean they could fly? Well, kind of. Scientists say the Archaeopteryx could fly short distances, but not soar high up distances into the sky. So Archie's flying is kind of, sort of, normal for an Archaeopteryx. Yes, but he's bigger than a typical Archaeopteryx. In general, most were probably not much bigger than pigeons are today. That's Archie for you, larger than life. Those were some fine feathered facts, Leto. Thanks for the show. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Who else wants to tell us about their favorite story from Gigantosaurus? I will, but we have to go outside. Come on, let's go, little dinos. Hey, where did Roxy go? Here I am. <laughs> oh. My favorite Gigantosaurus story takes place at night. Bill is so hungry that he searches for food in his sleep. Oh, I remember that story. Bill had so many close calls. But he was lucky to have Giganto looking out for him. The big guy found a way to get Bill back to bed. Wasn't that nice of him? It certainly was. Sweet dreams, Giganto. So I thought we could play a game now called Sleeping Dino. You guys go hide and try to be so quiet like you're sleeping. And then I have to find you. Okay, here we go. And you can help me find them, okay? Let me know if you see or hear anything from our sleeping dinos. I wonder where they are. Did you hear that? Where did it come from? <gasps> the mushroom? Thanks! Found you! Oh. Aw, my giggle gave it away. What's that? Ah. Uh. The bush? Uh, uh, two. Found you! And Gesundheit! I knew I shouldn't hide in goobaberry bushes. Uh, two. Oh. I'm allergic. Uh, oh! Two. We've got only one more dino to find! Where's that sound coming from? The tree! You're right! Wake up, oh. Talia! Oh. I found you! <laughs> I can't believe you fell asleep! Well, you said the name of the game was Sleeping Dinos, so I slept. <laughs> That's true. Thanks for helping me out in the game. Now that you're nice and refreshed from your nap, do you want to tell us about your favorite Gigantosaurus story? I'd be delighted. Here's a hint. <laughs> I bet this story will crack you up. Uh, is there a story about Giganto telling jokes? No, she means an egg. That's right. I love the story where the little dinos find an egg and they're so worried that Giganto will crush it or eat it. But instead, 
Giganto is super kind and gentle. <laughs> he makes a little hole in the ground, puts the egg inside, and waits for it to hatch. Yay, Giganto! Is there a better egg sitter than him? Hey, Pom Pom, you're the only one who hasn't told us your favorite Gigantosaurus story yet. Oh, mine isn't a story. It's a song. <laughs> I should have known. Which song is it? Well, did you notice how all these stories are about Giganto doing something amazing with his little friends? That's my favorite song, Little Friends. That's a lovely song. Should we play it for our little friends out there? Yes! yes! Under the Cretaceous sun are dinos of all sides. Giganto is the biggest one, and here's the big surprise. Giganto towers over all and rules from end to end. But the giant dinosaur has little friends. Giganto's here for you. He's your big protector and can be your best friend too. So when you're feeling all alone, play dinos and pretend. Giganto is beside you, you're his little friend. Come back soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.